Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Watson. Starting tomorrow, the NTSB hearings on what caused the toxic train derailment in East Palestine are set to begin. But many still have questions about the ongoing investigation. So tonight, the chair of the National Transportation Safety Board spoke to the community. First News reporter Desiree Goslin was at tonight's meeting and joins us live in the studio to break down the concerns of the village. Since February 3rd, when a Norfolk Southern train derailed in East Palestine, people here and across the country have been asking, how can this happen and what can we do to prevent another catastrophe? And as Chair Jennifer Homendy explains, those are the questions that it's the NTSB's job to answer. We are so sorry that this significant tragedy occurred here. NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy began the meeting by apologizing to the community for the hardships that have come from the derailment. She explained the role of the NTSB is to provide oversight to the Department of Transportation and conduct investigations. Our whole uh, mission is to investigate tragedies and we re make recommendations to outside entities um, and they may be other federal entities. Community members were allowed to ask questions. Many of them showed up wearing matching t-shirts that read, we the people have had enough. Whether you would consider or make any recommendation to change the balance of power that keeps those who want to make profit at all costs controlling safety. Another man questioned the sincerity of the upcoming hearings. Are they really just an exercise in futility? Um, because the regulations that were in place obviously weren't enough to stop our accident here in East Palestine. Hamadi explained how the hearings will work and who will be answering questions. And those subject matter experts have, are, they've been part of this investigation. They have a number of questions for the witnesses. And so, uh, you know, part of their goal is additional fact finding. Any of the documentation that the NTSB debuts at the hearings will be available on their public hearing docket online, but they won't have any available of, of that until tomorrow when that hearing actually begins. In the studio, Desiree Goslin, WKBN 27 First News. All right, thanks so much, Des. Well, when those hearings start tomorrow morning at the high school, the public is welcome but won't be able to participate. The safety board will hear testimony from a number of groups, including Norfolk Southern, the Federal Railroad Association, East Palestine's emergency service personnel, and others. Testimony will focus on issues like the decision to vent and burn five vinyl chloride tanks, as well as emergency responder preparedness and so much more. The hearings take place tomorrow and Friday starting at 9 o'clock. You can look for our live coverage beginning on First News at 5. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.